Hi guys, Ray23179 here, and today I'm going to be doing a redstone tutorial on the 3x3 piston door. Now there's a few things I want, well actually there's a lot of things, not just a few things. Uh, but the first thing I want to say is that I changed my skin. I just want to get that out there because the first thing you will recognize. Uh, the second thing is, you will notice that I, the second thing that's probably, actually the first thing you notice, I don't know. Uh, but the first or second thing that you notice is that I don't have an intro for this video and that is because of a special reason that I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. Uh, third thing is that from now on in redstone tutorials I'm going to be doing them in a super flat sandstone world such as the one I'm in right now and fourth thing is basically for all redstone tutorials I'm going to be using the texture pack that I currently have on. Now some of you may have, some of you have, may have not noticed the sandstone texture behind me has changed. If you haven't noticed it, you'll definitely notice the changes when we're building. But it's not too um, confusing with what item is what. Um, fourth thing, or actually fifth thing, is uh, something I'm very sad about. Is that I missed the third view milestone. And because I was busy. And I don't like... Having missing a milestone makes me unhappy. But, you know, sorry about missing that, guys. And uh, so anyway, thank you for 10,000 views as our third milestone. Uh, the next one is going to be 20,000 views as our fourth milestone. Um, and we have our other thousands that I have to thank you for. So thank you for 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, and 14,000 views. I know that's a lot of thank yous in one video, but, you know, that's what I'm doing. Um, also, I have, so I, I just recently made up little subscriber milestones, and I just recently passed my third one, so basically how this works is, the first subscriber milestone is one subscriber, which I got pretty easily, and all you have to do is add a zero to one, which gives you ten, so that's the second milestone, add a zero to ten, you get one hundred, so that's the third milestone, obviously if you add a zero to 100 you will get a thousand so that is a fourth milestone i know it sounds far away but i always say this it's far away and i think we can do it and we always make it so thank you guys for all the support keep viewing liking subscribing and commenting when you have questions uh really appreciate it but anyway enough of me talking let's get into uh this build here it is the three by three piston door um the door size is three by three and the wiring dimensions are 4 by 10. Now, um, the door right here, obviously, that's the most noticeable part. It's 3 by 3. It's even in the title of this video. And the wiring is just everything in here. It's 4 wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 10 tall. 1, 2, oh, oh, oh. One, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But it can be 3 by 9 if you don't count this little bit here and if you don't count that underground piston. But overall, it's pretty um, compact wiring, if I do say so myself. Um, opening time is about 1.8 seconds. And closing time is about 0 0.9 seconds. I, If you look through it... You see that it's completely seamless. You can't see any redstone at all. The only thing that you do see is that double extender piston, which has to come out to retrieve that middle block. Every piston door maker knows the middle blocks or block is or are the hardest to get out of there because somewhere, somehow, a piston has to double extend. And usually when you build the pistons bigger than 2x2, two two, you're going to have a double extender. So we have that. Now let's get on the building. What you'll need is the obvious four four things are redstone torches, redstone itself, redstone repeaters, and sticky pistons. Then you're going to need a building material that I chose sandstone because, well, I think you guys can figure that out. I also have four different colors of wool. And I've split the circuit wiring into circuit wiring. I've split the door wiring into four different circuits. And I'm going to be using the four colors of wool. But it doesn't matter which block you use. As long as you can place redstone on it, you should be good. Also, we're going to need a button and a lever. So, um, let's get on to uh, building this thing. So the first part, 
step one basically is this is deciding orientation now if you want it to be built in a certain way what we're going to do is we're going to first take our red block and from now on our redstone tutorials our red block is going to be our input block basically the block that receives power to make the whole thing go off um now if you want to walk through it this way per se if you want the doorway to be eh, hold on let me build this real quick if you want it to be aligned like so where you walk through it this way uh then you're gonna want to act as if the frame is there and run it and jump over this red block and these are the two directions you'll be jumping through the door walking through the door per se and once you've decided the way you want to go through face the red block and place a redstone torch on the oh sorry on the left side like that so let's say you want to go through it north south then you since you test your test is here you run through it and we're just going to go on the side and place the torch there so this is how you decide the orientation now let's get into step two building the double extending circuit so what we're going to do is we're going to have this block here i feel like putting a red wool there because sandstone just dirty it's not clean enough for redstone. I don't know. I just feel like putting a red block there. Uh, but now we're going to switch over to the blue circuit. And the, all the blue circuit is, is anything having to do with the double extender. So first we're going to have a repeater next to the torch on one tick. And one coming out of the block on four ticks. That's going to be going into a block with redstone next to it. And that should become powered by this block. Now we're going to place down the block next to this redstone with the torch on the back. Then, coming out of that torch, going back the way we came, a repeater on four ticks, into a block, and then outside that, two redstone, and then a repeater on four ticks, going into yet another block. So it's kind of like a spiral sort of thing. Next part we're going to do is build this upper segment. I'm trying to put this into segments, so this is, I guess, the first segment of the double extender. Next thing, next segment, I guess, is building on top of this. We go up again, and go over one, with the torch, just like that. Then we're going to find our uh, input block, and build like an upside down L around it. I'll break that block, but you can leave it there if you want. It doesn't really matter. All we need is these two. Then next to that torch, we're going to put a repeater on two ticks, then a repeater on three ticks. It doesn't matter which way you do it, as long as one is on two and one is on three. Next, we're going to have those repeaters going into a block, and coming out sideways, we're going to have redstone. That redstone will feed into a repeater on two ticks. Then, that repeater on two ticks will be going into a blue wool block. And that is, I guess, the second segment. Now, we're going to find the central block right after this one, right next to this torch. This block here, take our sticky pistons, and build two facing up, one on, on one on top of the other. Just like that. This will be the double extender, so give it its block to hold. Now, we are going to put a sticky piston. Hold on, break this real quick. We're going to find this repeater here, and shift place one, a sticky piston, on top, facing towards the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find this back torch over here. And out of its block, we are going to make a plus symbol. Punch out the middle. Then we're going to put redstone in the middle, redstone on the left. And on the right side, we're going to put a repeater going outwards on two ticks. Going into a block with redstone on top. Now we need to go back to this torch here. And right next to it, dig into the ground one and place in a sticky piston facing upwards. On top of that, we're going to need purple wool. Uh, I forgot to mention that you'll need this block, but you're actually going to need sand. Sorry for not mentioning that at the beginning of the video. Put that on top of the purple wool. We no longer need sand, so we may get rid of it. Now we're going to build two out from this sand right here. Place a repeater towards the sand on one tick. Now we're going to use our lever. Place it down and power the repeater. We no longer need a lever. We may get rid of it. Now the repeater should be powering this. Or it's it the repeater should be powered by the lever. And the reason I use a lever and not a redstone torch or anything else like that is because redstone torches and other 
power sources tend to spread their power out, but a lever only goes in one spot. So don't worry about it messing up anything else because it won't. That is the main double extender circuit. So to test it, we're going to give these pistons their blocks, and we're going to make the input signal. Redstone goes into the input block. Button goes onto the input pusher. And we push it. We should end up with this. Now, you'll notice that if you try to push the button again, you'll get this. That block will still be there. The reason for this is, the piston does not double extend if there's no block on top of this torch. It's very important that you put a block on top of this torch. Note, however, that this is going to be your floor level. So you're probably going to want to put it whatever your floor block is. So now that we have that there, we can push it again. We should get something like this. Then we push it again. And it should retrieve the block. So that's how you build the double extender part. Now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to build the side pistons. So building in the side pistons. This is step two, building in the side pistons. Uh, first what we're going to want to do is we are going to uh, want to build out here. Because this is like part of the main floor right here. Then out of this block again, we're going to build two more. And then on top of that, we place our sticky pistons. We can break those out because we don't need them. Then we are going to uh, build in the other pistons over here and mirror basically what we had over there. One, two. Place the pistons. No, not one, two. Just for this side, we're only going to build out one and place our pistons on top. Now for the upper pistons, we're going to build up six from the floor level. So find the floor and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Break out all of these blocks and facing down, place the three pistons. Eh, eh, there. Alright, so we have that done. Now we are going to do step three, getting power to the pistons. So we're going to find this sand block over here that we placed down earlier. And we're going to build sort of stairs, now using lime wool. On the first one, place a redstone. Second one, place a torch on the left side. And on the third one, torch on top. This piston should have like a spasm or something, because the torch will flash on and off really fast. It turns off because this torch is powering it from under. Now, we want to make both of those pistons move out and in very quickly. So all we have to do is put a torch on top of here. Now we place the block. They should both do it. So, this redstone, or this torch, powers this one, which powers this block, powering both the pistons. Now we just need to get power from here to these three pistons and those two. So, we're just going to take the current from right here. So, build one on top of this piston, then build one in towards these three pistons, and then back out and up like a half spiral, then go along these pistons and mirror what you did on the other side. Simple as that. Oh, right there. Forgot about that. Now, all we need to do is lay redstone along it. And this is pretty much the finished door. All we need to do is add in the blocks. So, now when we push our button, the whole thing closes. When we push our button again, it opens just fine. Now all we need to do is build the outer frame so the redstone's not showing to make the whole thing seamless. Just build the frame in like this, surrounding all the parts you don't want to see, basically. Now we can go to the other side. and build the frame over here. I like to extend it one more block. So we're going to do just that. And extend the frame by one more block. Just to give the redstone a bit of extra coverage. And there we have it. Now when you open it, you will notice two pockets. It's okay to just plug those in with whatever block you want. Presumably whatever one you are using to build the floor, and there we have it. 
three by three seamless piston door. Now, if you want the the button to not be secret, build it like this. Well, do this with it. Build out four, build out three or two rather, and make a space for the button. Doesn't have to be here, but I just choose to put it here. Now, we place our button on here. And it doesn't matter where the button is. All it needs to do is give power to the input block. It could be a thousand blocks that way, and it wouldn't matter. As long as it went into the input block, the door would still work. Obviously, now you would need to put repeaters into that to continue the pulse after a thousand blocks. But as long as it goes directly into that block, it should work fine. Now, if you want to open it and close it on the other side, it's as, it's as simple as this. Build out these parts, and basically, all you're doing is copying from what you did on the other side. Place down our button. All we need to do is this. Connect the pulse. And since this is more than 15 blocks, we need a repeater. So now, when we push our button, it should work. And there you guys have it. It's that simple. I will be working on um, a 4x4 piston door for you guys. Because I kind of take a liking to piston doors that are seamless. No redstone and no sand or gravel. And all you need to do is push a button. Uh, so I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you will install this to your new secret base. Um, it's very simple to build. And yeah. So, at the beginning of this video, I told you that the reason I didn't have an intro, I would explain to you at the end of the video. And as an added bonus for watching this far, and not just logging off and having fun with your piston door after I finish building it, I will tell you what that reason is. The reason is because I have a new computer, and it's now Windows, so I can now do tutorials on Windows for installing mods. So if you want me to, uh, just post a comment on the video, on the mod video that you want me to do a Windows tutorial for, and I will get that done. I only want you guys to comment for videos for mods that are up to date. That means as of April 20th. Okay, I'm not recording this on April 20th, but April 20th and later, any mods that came out after April 20th are the only ones that I'm going to be willing to do on Windows. So, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it helpful, hope you'll have fun with this new piston door, and I'll be working on a 4x4 for you guys. And yeah, so until next time, I will see you later.